Oh, let's <gasps> go. Oh, oh, let's go. We did it. We did it. Oh, my Dude. God. I'm so excited. Easter egg bunker 11. <laughs> oh, even the smoke is different. The smoke is different. Welcome, everybody, to the Warzone bunker 11 Easter egg. This is different from the actual normal bunkers where you just need the red key card to get in. This is a specific bunker that actually has the nuke inside. It has an insane blueprint that actually unlocks. Like, in your game, you get a new weapon whenever you complete it. It has a bunch of Easter eggs, and I think there's actually going to be a continuation of it to actually launch the nuke. But we'll get into all that. The first thing you need to do is load up a game of Plunder. It's possible to do this in Battle Royale, but you really, really don't have enough time unless you have the fastest, most coordinated squad. So boot up a game of Plunder. It works in Plunder. And then you're going to go ahead and start dropping at the following locations that I'm about to tell you guys until you get a phone where someone is speaking rushed on it. There's going to be two different ways that this goes down. You're going to hit the phone and it's going to go eh, and it's going to like disconnect the line or someone's going to start speaking Russian. So hit these locations in order. I'll show you guys now. So the first location you want to check is over here at the dam. You're going to go to this building down at the very, very bottom. And this is the phone location right here. I'm going to check to see if this is my phone for my game. I get the little dead ringtone noise. That means that is not the phone for my game. And you're going to go ahead and need to check the other phones. So the next phone you need to go ahead and check is over here at TV station. Head inside and there's two different phones in here. So make sure you're actually interacting with the correct one. This one is over here right there on the counter. You're going to interact with it. No speaking Russian, no numbers, nothing like that. It's just a dead tone, which means this is not your phone and you need to move on to the next phone spawn location. Okay, so the next Russian guy phone spot that you need to do first, it could be in this bottom corner over here by Boneyard. All the way over here, you're gonna hit this phone and if it is the correct one, it'll obviously start speaking or if it's the incorrect one, it'll do that little dead phone sound, but that is one of the uh, spawn locations that it can be. So another spot that the Russian phone guy can be is that he's in this building right here. Again, right here near Hills. You're gonna go up here and again, listen. If it's him, he'll start speaking and you need to listen for those three numbers. But that is the next spawn location right there that it can be. So another location the original phone can be is in this building right behind Superstore. Head up to the second story right here. Hit this phone. Wasn't it in my game, but that could be one of the locations for you as well. All right, the next one is at the port. So just head to the back side of this building. Port, head right on in, take a right. And then behind this little check-in desk is a phone. You can hit that. Enemy UAV overhead. And that one is the one that will tell you, again, whether or not uh, you have the numbers there. So check that one. If it's not that one, move on to the next spawn location. So here we go, final location that this can be. And if it's not any of these, there's probably a few more spawns. But at this point, honestly, just reset your game because you probably wasted too much time and you won't have enough time before the game ends. So uh, it's at this very last one. Big building in downtown. Go a floor down from the rooftop. Head over here. And as you can see, that was it for me. But that's the last location. If you don't get any of those, just reset. And uh, yeah. So once you find the phone that has the Russian speaking, it could be your first phone, it could be your fifth phone. But once you find it, you need to listen to it. And then in between the two sound effects, it's going to go random Russian noises. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Three number, it's gonna say three numbers in Russian. I'll tell you guys how to translate them in just a second. But that's the only part you need to listen to. So let's listen. Russian noises. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. So as you can hear, no dva set. So I'll tell you guys how to like actually translate that in a, in a second. But my numbers are zero to six, which means I need to hit the phones zero then two, then six. And that will unlock the bunker for me. That's basically how it works. But let's get into the translation right now. So listen to those, translate your number from Russian to English, and now you need to go hit those three phones in order. So if your number is 097, you need to hit phone zero, then hit phone nine, then hit phone seven. If you do it incorrectly, it'll look like this. So if you go up to a phone and you accidentally input something correctly or in an incorrect order on the third one, basically whenever you enter your third number and it's incorrect, you're gonna hear this sound right here. I just entered a six, it's wrong. Принято, выполняю. 
So it's gonna sound like that, it's gonna go eh, and then it's gonna read that and just resets the code. Your code is still the exact same one that you had initially, but now you have a reset of numbers. You now need to go back and reinsert the first number, do the second number, do the third number. That's whenever you get it wrong. That's what that sounds like. So here's one of the locations it can be. It is in military base. It is this building right here. And you're gonna go ahead and head inside. Click on this phone. And there you go. That is phone number zero right there. Phone number zero. There it is. So if you get zero, go here. So if you're going for phone number one, you need to come inside of the big bank at the downtown area of the map, head inside the front door, and right here up against the wall is this phone. If you hit that one, that will be number one there. So if you get number one for your order, head right here, and you can move on to your next one. So next one up is at this ammo store right here. Zooming in, boom, it's the, this area with the big long building. This is the ammo store. There it is on the map one more time. Head inside, go upstairs, and hit it right behind the counter here. That's number two. So if you have number two, come inside, hit that one, and then move on to your next number. And again, make sure you're doing it in order. So next up for number three is at Quarry. You're gonna come all the way to this back building, just on the back side. Back door, super easy to find. Head inside. Phone is right there. That is number three, right there. So if you have number three, come here, hit that, and you're on to the next one. So the next one up is north of Lumber. If you zoom all the way in, it's this big building right here that has the ammo in it. That's the location of it. And if you just hop down through the roof, it is right here. That is number four. So if you get phone number four in Russian, you need to come here and hit it in this order. That is phone number four. All right, so next up is TV station. Again, this is one of those locations that has two different ones. Obviously, we talked about this phone earlier. That is the phone to get your order. We are not looking at that phone. We are coming all the way over here through the door and looking right here. This is the phone that will actually be number five. So if you get number five, you're going right here. Boom. That would be number five entered into the code list. Uh. So the next one is over here in the ATC tower at the airport. You're gonna head up here. The phone is right here on the wall. Go ahead and hit that one right there. And that one is number six. So if you get number six, this is the phone you come to and you hit that one. All right, so the next one up is number seven. It is down here at the airport, right where the plane uh, kind of is pointing to this door. Go underneath. Head up and right here is number seven. So the next one up is at hospital. This is going to be number eight. Just head to this back parking lot right here where the buy station usually is and head inside the Verdans hospital uh, kind of main area and right behind this desk, boom, right there is going to be the phone. And uh, that is number eight right there. So if you need number eight, go to that one in that order. And there you go. You can move on to the next step. Okay, so if you have number nine, this is where number nine is. It's up here in the dam. It's right in here underneath. Don't get it confused with the phone that's down there. That's the one that gives you your code. But if you do have nine for your code, you're gonna head inside of here. And then the phone is just on the back side of this. You can interact. And that one is nine right there. Again, make sure you differentiate it from the other phone and dam, but this is number nine. Phone number nine, right there. So if you guys remember from earlier, the code that I actually had in the game where I opened the bunker was 026. So this is exactly what it looks like when you're opening up a code when you get 026. So here's my first phone, this is zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my zero. So my next one is two, so I'm here at the number two phone location. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna hit two. So there we go, I've done it in order. That's uh, my zero, my two, and now I have to go hit number six. So here we go, I'm at my last one. This is uh, the number six. I'm gonna hit it and it's gonna play this noise. So it's gonna give you the little completion sound and if you get that completion sound, you know that the bunker is now open. All you need to do now is make your way to the bunker itself and I'll show you guys all the really cool stuff inside of it. All right, so once you have done all of the steps required, you should be able to make your way to the bunker 11. Again, this is why you need to play it in plunder. It is all the way up here, very top corner of the map. Kind of just look where I am. And if you've done it correctly, you'll be able to input the numbers. And let me show you guys all the super, super cool stuff and why I think there's actually a part two to this Easter egg uh, inside here. I'm getting rushed by a truck. Stop. I did all this work. 
are you? All right, so this time without anyone shooting at you, uh, this is the uh, this is the location right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and enter it since we've already shown off everything that uh, you need to do here. So you enter the code, check your back, make sure no one's camping this while you do all the hard work, and now you go in. Okay, so here's what we got. Door opens up. It has a different effect than the other doors. It's a little fiery. And you head on down. Again, there's the same old stuff as in the other bunkers. Tons of cash. Uh, resume cover, await farther instructions. That is exclusive to this. And then this is the actual bunker. Now, we're not really going to be worrying about these. Obviously, just tons of good loot. Uh, the first thing in here that you definitely want to do is uh, there's a bunch of computer malfunctions. And this is what leads me to believe you can hold F and actually reboot the computer. And the computers will boot back on. And this is what leads me to believe that all those computers around the map, you know how the phones didn't do anything forever? This is, what's, this is what leads me to believe that now the computers around the map activate and you can do something else with them. So that's what the uh, computer reboot actually does. Pretty insane. Um, that's first part. Uh, second part is that there is another door right here, which again is access code. I assume this is where you go if you you know, solve the computer part of the Easter egg. Uh, another room over here, this has a 10 second countdown and it just ends at the end. Like, look at this, five, four, three, two, one, and then it just doesn't do anything. It just restarts the countdown. So, a lot of interesting stuff in here for sure. Equations and whatnot. Very zombie-esque if you ask me. Uh, anyway, the main thing, the main room, this is where all the interesting stuff is. So if you pick up these guns, there's two mud droppers. You pick it up, you actually unlock a blueprint. It's glitched at the moment, but this will, I'm sure, unlock a blueprint. Normally, it's an MP7 blueprint. Pretty darn incredible. Uh, again, just more loot and stuff in here. But the real interesting part is if you go in this corner, lay down, and come through here. Now, if you come over to this room, obviously, it's all foggy. It's all smoky. Uh, but if you press F on the shiny red button, it actually ventilates out that smoke. And you can see that there's an actual nuke being assembled inside of there. So that is probably the coolest part of this entire Easter egg. Um, the door back there looks like it can, you can go through it. So this is what I assume is going to be the second part of this Easter egg. Obviously, we'll be streaming the Easter egg hunt for this and uh, uploading the second part when uh, that gets solved. So that's the second part for now. Uh, you get the free blueprints, doors, Easter eggs galore. Great stuff and all around a super, super good job by Infinity Ward implementing this. It was a lot of fun doing and uh, obviously shout out to Reddit and shout out to uh, the discords and everything like that for helping to solve this and uh, figuring out a ton of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on the video and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy your new SMG blueprint. Enjoy all the Easter eggs. And if you guys uh, wanna help work along with this computer reboot uh we're gonna be working for it so anyway hope to see you guys in the next one peace out everyone bye bye